want to marry your dad either. And I was miserable since then. You never told me that. You are always so beautiful. You need the big forehead filter on though, girls. Thanks. How kind. <laughs> Blueberry muffin man. I bet you have a small dick, don't you? Mm-hmm. Anyways, let's see. It's true. Men are all assholes. Proof. <laughs> you have to use them and abuse them. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. <laughs> I know Johnny is okay, actually. I have him wrapped around my little finger. Well then, you should be happy. But I'm not. I don't love him. Don't throw your life away just because you don't love him. That's ridiculous. You gotta grow up, and you should listen to me. Okay, Mom, stay at the party. Bye. Lisa's sweeping the floor. The, the buzzer, buzzer rings, rings. and she answers. Mm. Who is it? Delivery man. It's me, honey. Come on up. Mark enters, carrying several takeout boxes. Is that Lisa's mom? It this is. This is how women really are. This is she our truth. so many misogynists in her comments. Absolutely. <laughs> That's your target demographic. Is spreading misogynist. love and good vibes on TikTok. Can I help you with something? Yeah, keep spreading love and good vibes to drown out the misogynists. Please do. There's a lot of misogynists here. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, she's such a savage. I think they're talking about Claudette, and they're right. They're right. Both of them are savages, honestly. Yeah, well, like Claudette's just speaking facts. Yeah. Okay. You keep going. How's it going? Are you ready? Do you, how do you mean that? How do you mean that? I'm always ready for you. I mean for the party, Lisa. Go Lisa on. Lisa bugs and whispers into his ear. Um, I'm all ready. We have plenty of time. But I still have to put on my party dress. She pulls a t-shirt over her head, revealing bare breasts. Come here. <laughs> what are you doing? Nothing, come here. Mark smiles, looking at her breasts and approaches her. You are very beautiful. Lisa grabs Mark's hand and they kiss passionately. Mark removes his shirt and unzips his pants. Suddenly, the buzzer rings. Lisa and Mark are still kissing and undressing when the buzzer rings again. They break apart and then hurriedly dress. Are you ready? I have to open the door. Yeah. Who is it? It's me and Michelle. Come on up. Lisa kisses Mark. The doorbell rings. Lisa opens it and Michelle comes in carrying a grocery sack. How are you doing? Hi, I'm fine. I brought the stuff. I knew I could count on you. Hi, Mark. X, Y, Z. What are you talking about? Examine your zipper. Mark hurriedly zips up. You oh, guys I get are it. too much. Examine your zipper. You didn't get that when we watched No, them? I didn't get that. I've never heard that before. Yeah, it's not a thing, but I got it. Oh my god. What's going on in here? There's so much going on. What are y'all so doing? Much, oh, just the Middle Earthians vibing. Well, we're about to take over the world, probably. Okay, goodbye, good vibes, man. It's getting PG 13, literally. Great. Caught up. Broadway show, you'd be least likely to go see cats. Cats fucking suck. Straight. K-pop, because it's closing apparently early. Oh yeah, K-pop. I'm hurt. Yeah. Found out the opera's closing, that's wild. Funny girl, because Leigh Michelle is in it. <laughs> Leigh Michelle doesn't deserve to be Fanny Bryce. I said what I said. Just trying to take over the world and make it great again. Oh. Mm. Are you? I'm in. Uh -huh. Come here. Oh my god, what? What's up, baby? Where are you? Where? That was, you were fucking invisible. You were everywhere. <laughs> I heard your voice there I, and there. That and was there terrifying. For all the people telling us we're beautiful, would you like to meet our boyfriend? Our boyfriend? My boyfriend, bitch. I saw cats in London and I fell asleep. That's valid. Yeah, the girl that can't read, Leah Michelle. I like how everyone's translating her comments into emojis. Baby, come here. <laughs> Only if you consent to be on live in front of 14 people. Only 14. Only 14. Can you come here? Yeah, look. I want the black thing up? on your shoulder on your t-shirt. What is that? Hmm? What is it? What is Come this? Come in closer. Mom live. Why are you so far? Um, yeah. Why are you so far? That's why I said come in only if you consent to being on live in front of oh, 15 okay. people. Hmm? Nothing. 
I just want you to come closer. Where were we? I don't remember. Oh, examine your zipper. Who's Lisa? Renee. They're really giving the flattest deliveries ever. Okay, you be Mark. Mark? Yeah. Damn, I wanna be Tommy. Well, Tommy's not in this scene. Well, we're switching up. Jesus Christ. Do you wanna be in this or not? Okay, read. Where are we starting? Examine your zipper. Ah! Mark hurriedly zips up. Zip. You guys are too much. What can I do to help you? I have to go now. What was he doing here? Oh, he brought some takeout. What about a zipper? Michelle has a laugh hysterically. <laughs> Leave him alone. He's a nice guy. No, I mean, did something happen? He tried to... What? He tried to R-word me, but I didn't let him. Did you tell Johnny yet? No, they are good friends. I know. Tricky, tricky. You know, I really loved Johnny at first. Really? I thought you love him now. Until now, I did think I still love him. Everything has changed. I need more from life than Johnny can give me. Suddenly, my eyes are wide open and I see the light. I want it all. Do you think you can get it all from Mark? I want to play the field. If he doesn't give me what I want, somebody else will. I don't think I know you anymore. Michelle's laughing. Ah ha ha. Pause. You are being manipulative, Lisa. So what? You can learn from me. <laughs> You have to take as much as you can. You have to live, 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 my friend. Don't worry. I have everything covered. Tell me more. Maybe I can understand your point of view. I don't want to talk about it. Let's put the stuff in bowls. We only have an hour before people will be coming. Lisa and Michelle start working on party preparation while they are talking. Angrily. I want to know. It's important to me. You are my best friend. This really upsets me. I don't know what the big mystery is. Doesn't everybody look out for number one? I Don't I deserve what's best? I can't do that. Ah, ha, ha. You are too mm. much for me, Lisa. You're not such an angel yourself. We're not talking about me. Michelle throws a cherry tomato at Lisa. Stop it. They'll be here any minute. Are you trying to ruin my party? I'm with you. Let's talk later. Looks to me like we're ready. Scene 12. Lisa sitting in the cabin with her big party dress wearing, reading a magazine. Johnny's friends are in the kitchen talking and laughing. It sounds like a party. You guys quiet down in there. I can hear him coming. The talking laughing gradually subsides. There is the sound of a key in the door. The door opens and Johnny enters, very angry. Hi, honey. Happy birthday. The angry look fades from Johnny's face. Do you want to be Johnny? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Just then, the kitchen door opens and the crowd of people comes out. Happy birthday! Johnny smiles and says to Lisa. This. Uh, oh, what do you want to show me? No. Oh, never mind. There's more. Yeah. I'll talk to you later. Several people shake Johnny's hand. The guys slap him on the back and the girls what? kiss him on the no cheek. More. And I mean, some of them no give him more. presents. Nah. Only a few can side. Uh, he puts them on a coffee table. Johnny pretends to be happy, but keeps glancing at Lisa. For a while, there's general conversation and laughter. Hey, everybody. Sure Let's go to the roof and get some fresh air. Lisa opens the door, and people go out in groups of two and three. When Mark starts to go through the door, Lisa puts her hand on his arm and says, Let me show you something. What do you want to show me? It's a surprise. She pulls him by his hand, pushes him to the bed, and kisses him suddenly. What are you right. doing? Are you crazy? Everybody is here. No, they're not. They're all gone to the roof. You little devil. You planned this all along. Suddenly, the door opens and Peter comes in while Mark and Lisa are kissing. What's going on here? Lisa and Mark separate suddenly, surprised. Why are you doing this? I don't believe it. You don't understand anything. Leave your stupid comments in your pocket. Mark goes out the door. Peter turns to Lisa. Do you understand what you are doing? You are going to destroy Johnny. He is very sensitive. I don't care. I am in love with Mark. How can you do this? 
You make me sick. The door opens and Johnny comes in with Michelle. Oh, thank you, honey. This is a beautiful party. You invited all my friends. Good thinking. Everybody grab something to drink. Johnny, you bring the plastic cups and I'll bring the JD. We're going back up to the roof. Act four. What's JD? I'm assuming some sort of alcohol. And they start eating Doritos viciously. Sounds about right, honestly. Honestly, yes. <laughs> Everyone is on the roof talking and laughing and looking at the view from all sides. The guys are tossing the football. Hey, Johnny, have you thought about that loan we were talking about? Mother, let's talk about that later. It's Johnny's birthday party. Okay, Johnny and I... Johnny, I will call you later about this. I already told you the answer is no. I don't understand why. Never mind if it is your birthday. It's not up to me. The decision was already made. She is qualified to get this loan. I've known her for years. She always pays her bills on time. The fact is, well, I can't tell you what happened between because of client privilege. However, there was something wrong with the paperwork. She steps closer to Johnny. You can tell me. Shirley is my best friend. We don't have any secrets from each other. I'm sorry, I can't. It's too late. Did AI write this honestly? Probably. I wish, but it was a guy who really thought this was gonna be an amazing movie and he thought this was so gonna, much better. He thought it was gonna be Citizen Kane. <laughs> What's your favorite Lana Del Rey songs? I don't listen to her. Diet sorry. Mountain Cola. Me too. An American. Me too, yeah. Johnny's birthday, Le Maya. For real. Right. He's literally getting cheated on. Literally <laughs> ends terribly. Just keep, just keep watching. Why don't you talk to this husband of yours? What? Mother, stop it. This is Johnny's party. We'll talk about it later. Do you want a drink? No! I'm so depressed, and it's all his fault. Let's have a toast for Johnny. Everybody sings the song, Happy Birthday to You, A Million Ellipses, and lifts their glasses. Okay, let's go downstairs for the cake. People go through the door by twos and threes. Scene, uh, act five, scene 14. Act four was only three pages. Damn. Lisa comes through the door of the room and goes into the kitchen. The others follow. After a while, people start coming out of the kitchen, carrying pieces of cake on plates and glasses of drinks. Johnny comes to the room and puts his arm around Lisa's shoulders. Hey, everybody. We have an announcement to make. He was for ready to be quiet. We're expecting. Oh, 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 oh. Congratulations, people say. <laughs> <laughs> Are you feeling gassy? Yeah, I've been burping. Bro, you low-key hella hug Andrew Tate. Thank you. Thanks. Announce the People infidelity. <laughs> Let's go. Announce the infidelity. Let's go. Sven is so invested in this. I see you, Sven. You're invested in Thank this, you, aren't Sven. you? Thanks. People. Oh, thanks for the roses. Mm -hmm. People are shouting and yelling Lisa's and Johnny's names. Lisa, Johnny. There is another run of shaking Johnny's hand and kissing Lisa on the cheek. However, Peter and Michelle stand together, looking very worried. Then Michelle takes Lisa by her hand and leads her to unoccupied corner, and Peter joins them. Lisa, you have to be honest with Johnny. I agree with that. Do you know what's going on? Um... Hmm. I'm going to tell him. I just don't want to spoil his birthday. When is the baby due? There is no baby. What? What? What are you talking about? Oh, I just told him that to make it interesting. Anyway, we'll probably have a baby eventually. You won't say anything to Johnny, will you? Michelle puts her hand on her forehead. <gasps> this is getting worse and worse. Are you studying a play? Thank God, no. <laughs> <laughs> NPC. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> They're right. I feel like I'm sitting on an atomic bomb waiting for it to go off. Me too. There's no good solution here. Don't worry about it. It will turn out all right. You guys worry too much about me. We're not worried about you. We're worried about Johnny. Don't You don't understand the psychological impact of what you're doing. You are hurting yourself, and you're hurting Johnny and our friendship. I'm not responsible for Johnny anymore. Oh. I'm through with that. Oh. I'm changing. Oh. I have the right, don't I? Oh. It happens every day. People are always changing. I have to think about my future. 
What's it to you? This is going to pull all of us down. It's going to shake up our group of friends. It will destroy our friendship, Lisa. I don't think Mark loves you. I don't want to talk about it. <gasps> when is this infidelity going to be exposed? <laughs> You're going to have to face it. I, for one, will have a hard time forgiving you. Are you betraying me now? I don't understand you. Mark approaches this group, and he is tipsy. Me too. Whose baby is it, Lisa? Is it mine? Of course not. Mark steps closer to Lisa and puts his hand on her arm. How can you be so sure? Anyway, are you sure it's not mine? Don't ask me any questions. Mark holds Lisa's arm very tightly. Who the hell do you think you are? Shut up! <laughs> Johnny sees what's happening and approaches Mark, oh. Peter, and Michelle. What's going on here? You really don't know, do you? He hurt my arm. She is whining. <laughs> I know more than you think I do, Mark. You don't know shit. Johnny is very angry. What do you want from me? What do you want from me? I want you to just disappear, you little twerp. <laughs> Johnny punches Mark in the shoulder. You leave Lisa alone, prick. Mark hits Johnny in the face. Johnny returns the blow. They end up on the floor, wrestling and hitting each other. Lisa screams. Stop, stop, stop. Peter, Michelle, help, help. Lisa, Peter, and Michelle try to pull them apart. Several other guys lift them to their feet and hold them. Peter grabs a bucket of water and ice and pours it on Johnny and Mark. <laughs> the guys who are holding Mark and Johnny also get wet and they start laughing and shouting at Peter. Others guys, hey, hey knock, knock it off. off. What are you doing? Are you crazy? How can I explain this to my roommate? That is the question. Good question. 20 people are watching this. Twerp is fight. That's because it's getting real now in this script. Wow. All right, let's keep going. The fight's over, folks. Everything is fine. Johnny sticks out his hand to shake Mark's hand. Sorry about that, Mark. Yeah, yeah. Me too. Lisa, can we have a big mop here? Lisa goes to the kitchen to get a mop. People start throwing ice at each other and laughing. The party goes on with people talking, drinking, and eating. She's mopping the floor. You guys, knock it off. You're just making more work for me. Point. Johnny goes to the bathroom, comes out with a stack of towels. Towels, anyone? Several guys take towels and wipe their faces in hair, and others shout. Yeah, yeah I'll, I'll take, take one. Give, give me, me a couple. couple. Maid, Maid service. service. Thank goodness. <laughs> Johnny puts on a heavy, heavy metal music, and the mood changes to fast dancing. After a while, Lisa approaches Mark to dance. They are holding hands while dancing, staring into each other's eyes with seductive expressions, on and off and on, touching each other's shoulders, hips, and knees. Soon, Johnny notices and approaches them. What are you doing? None of your business. You are my future wife. What the heck are you doing? Leave her alone. She doesn't want to talk to you. Very angrily. Since when do you give me orders? Since Lisa changed her mind about you. Wake up, man. What planet are you on? I think you should leave right now. Don't spoil it. We're just having fun. Mark pokes Johnny slightly in his shoulder. Don't worry about it, man. Everything's gonna be all right. Don't touch me, you stupid motherfucker. Leave my girl alone. Johnny grabs Mark around his neck and pushes him back to the wall. Mark forces his hands between Johnny's arms and break, just breaks Johnny's grip, grabs one of Johnny's arm and twists it behind Johnny's back. Johnny leans forward and breaks Mark's grip and whirls around and punches him in the side of his head. At the same time, Lisa tries to get between them, screaming, Stop! Stop! Why are you acting like children? Both of you are ruining the party! Several guys grab Mark and Johnny and pull them back away from each other and hold them. At the same time, Mark and Johnny and the other guys are shouting at each other. Michelle and a few girls talk to Lisa to calm her down. Everybody is talking at once. You son of a bitch, dirty scum. If you keep your girl satisfied, she would not come to me. Get out! If I ever see you again, I'll kill you! I'll break every bone in your body, you son of a bitch asshole! The other guys are forcing Mark toward the door and shouting, What, what are, are you doing? doing? Are, are you nuts? nuts? You're, You're supposed, supposed to be best friends! friends. Break, break it up! up. It's, it's over! Cool it, you guys! Mark, go, go home and take, take a, a shower! Cold shower. They, they are so stupid! stupid. 
Marcus shouting from the hallway. You couldn't kill me if you tried. You bastard. You betrayed me. You are not good. You're just a wimp. I'll get you. You just wait. You chicken. Fuck. Oh, wait, chicken no. noises. Chee, 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 Mark chee. shouting fades down the hall. Chill out, Johnny. It's over. Anyway, keep going. Claudette, wearing an apron, is sweeping up broken mirror glass and disposing of it. Don't worry, Lisa. I'll stay here and help you. Other people take the hint, start getting ready to leave. Several women empty pick up empty bowls and glasses and carry them to the kitchen. Why only women? Some other people <laughs> gather in the corner and whisper among themselves, laughing and finishing their drinks. Gradually, the people leave, thanking Lisa for inviting them. See you later. See you, Johnny. See you, Lisa. Happy birthday. Are, Are you going, going to be, be all right, Lisa? Lisa? See you, everybody. Don't worry about me. I'll be fine. See you later. See you later. See you later. Peter knocks on the bathroom door. Johnny, I'm leaving now. I want to shake your hand. Go on, Peter. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Thanks for everything. I want to talk to you before I leave. Johnny doesn't respond. Peter turns to Lisa. He's pretty stubborn, isn't he? We'll work it out. You can go on now. All right. You call me anytime if you need me. See you later. Peter gives a little kiss on Lisa's cheek and turns to Michelle. See you next Friday, Michelle. Sure, Peter. You take care. Bye. Peter, Lisa, the door. can I help you clean up? No, thanks, Michelle. Mom's going to do it. Thanks for all your help. Where is your mom? I don't see her. She's in the kitchen, if I know my mom from the kitchen. I heard that, Lisa. Get your pretty little buns in here and help. Well, I guess I'll leave it to the family. Bye-bye. See you later. Thanks for your help. Bye. It was my pleasure. Lisa goes to the bathroom. Okay, good night. Should have been see you later, alligator. You're damn right. It's the only thing that would make this writing better. Oh, it's two? What the fuck? It's two in the morning? <laughs> That's why. Oh, is this serious? Oh my god. It's okay, there's only like four pages left here. Almost at the end. Almost at the end, Sven. We're Stay almost tuned. There. Stay tuned, Sven. We went down it's to like 12 people. I have a song request. This we isn't a musical we live ain't singing, stream. Bro. Okay. Mom, what am I gonna do? He won't come out of the bathroom. Don't bother me about it. I'm not talking to him. He is a prick. He won't even help a poor old dying lady. Oh, never mind. She goes to the bathroom door and rattles the door up. Johnny, hey, Johnny. I won't come out until she leaves. Why are you being such a baby? Claudette comes out of the kitchen, drying her hands on a kitchen towel. Don't worry, I'm leaving. She is talking loud enough for Johnny to hear. She folds the towel and takes off her apron and folds it. I'm glad you come, Ma. Thank you for your help. Don't mention it, dear. Call me tomorrow, and we'll see how you feel. Okay. <sighs> good night, dear. Sweet dreams. Be good to Johnny. Good night, Johnny. I'll try. Good night, Mom. Scene 15. Lisa goes to the bathroom door. Come out now, Johnny. She's gone. In a few minutes, bitch. Who are you calling a bitch? You and your stupid mother. Lisa goes to the phone and punches numbers, then walks holding into her ear as far into the kitchen as the cord will stretch. Hi, Mark. I need to talk to you. 
Don't pay any attention to Johnny. He's being a big baby. You know, I love you very much. You're the spark of my life. I can't live without you. I love you. Why don't you ditch this creep? I don't like him anymore. I know. He's not worth it. Why don't I come out there and be with you? Sure. sure, baby. Come on up. I want your body. You got it. I'm on my way. Bye. Lisa hangs up. Angrily, Johnny comes out of the bathroom. Who are you talking to? Lisa takes the canvas out of her closet. Nobody. Johnny walks to the answering machine and pushes some buttons. We'll just see about that. Answering machine. Hi, Hi, Mark. I, I need, need to talk, talk to you. you. Don't, Don't pay any attention, attention to Johnny. Johnny. He's, He's being, being a big, big baby. baby. You, you know, know I love you very much. much. You're, You're the sparkle of my life. I can't live without you. you. I love you. Johnny presses the pause button. You little tramp. How could you do this to me? I gave you seven years of my life. Let's see what else we have on this tape. No, no, stop. You little prick. I put up with you for seven years. You think you are an angel, but you're just like everybody. I treat you like a princess, and you stab me in the back. I love you, and I did everything to please you, and now you betrayed me. How could you love him? Let's hear the tape. Johnny presses the button. Why, Why don't, don't you, you ditch, ditch this, this creep? creep? I don't like him anymore. I know. He's not worth it. Why don't I come up there and be with you? Sure, baby. Come on up. I want your body. You got it. I'm on my way. Bye. Johnny picks up the machine and yanks it to break the wire and throws it against the wall. Everybody betrayed me. I don't have a friend in the world. I'm leaving you, Johnny. Lisa goes to the bathroom with her bag, throws a few things into it, and runs out the door with it. Johnny is yelling while Lisa is slamming the door. Get out! Get out! Get out! Get out of my life! Johnny picks up the TV and throws it through the window. There is a big noise and crash outside the window. He yells. Screw the whole world. I don't need them. More glass shatters. Johnny tips the chair over, then the sofa, and grabs the lamp and throws it out the broken window. We hear a distant crash. He clears off the shelves with his hands. Books and other items fall on the floor. Whatever he sees, he throws against the walls. Someone bangs on the front door. What's going on in there? Open up! Open up! Are you okay? There is more banging on the door. Johnny goes to the closet and throws out everything he finds and finds a wooden box about the size of a shoebox. He tries to open it, but he can't. He throws it to the floor, but it doesn't open. He kicks it, but it doesn't open. He pulls out a piece of metal from the bottom of the chair and pries open the padlock and secedes. He opens the box and takes out a gun. He is crying. Why? 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 Why is this happening to me? Why? Why is this happening to me? I can't deal with this anymore. It's over. It's Suddenly. over. Suddenly, he stares into the closet. He reaches in and pulls out a sexy nightgown. He holds it at arm's length. You tramp! You tramp! He throws it on the floor. He reaches in and pulls out more of Lisa's clothes and throws them on the floor. He lies on the clothes, <laughs> unzipping his zipper. Oh, God. He's breathing hard and writhing his pelvic oh, thrust. fucking script. When he finishes... <laughs> He came, bro? Johnny! <laughs> he sits up and picks up the gun. His finger is on the trigger. Tears are flowing down his cheeks. He throws the gun away from him. <laughs> he is crying with his face in his hands. After a while, he crawls in. He crawls to the gun, still crying out loud. He reaches for the gun with his hand shaking. He picks it up and points it at the middle of his forehead. God forgive me. Johnny pulls the trigger. <laughs> He collapses on the floor, groaning. He is uh, dead. Groaning? <laughs> Aww. John Sven said. You dead. It's all for you, Sven. Sven. You're yeah. the only one watching this shit all the way through, so it's for you. Mm. Lisa opens the door to the apartment. Mark rushes in past her and kneels down beside Johnny's body. Also, several neighbors come in. Oh, Lisa stands by the door with an expression of horror and her arms folded. Somebody call the police! Don't touch anything. Call an ambulance. One person leaves the room to call. Johnny, open your eyes. Wake up. Mark holds Johnny's arm in and his head. Is he dead, Mark? Is he dead, Mark? Mark is very emotional. He touches the side of Johnny's neck. Yes, he is dead. Yes, he is dead. Lisa puts her hand over her eyes and says, Oh, oh my God. Mark stands beside Lisa and holds her tightly. Oh, well. The insurance has paid up to 100000 
Mark stands back away from Lisa. You were thinking of, an, of insurance at a time like this? Don't you see? We're free to be together. Mark pushes Lisa against the wall. That was so necessary, Mark. You did not need to do that. Okay. <laughs> oh my god. You tramp. You killed him. You were the cause of all this. Go to hell. I don't need your dirty money. I don't love you. As far as I'm concerned, you can draw off the earth. Pause. Get out of my life. Get out of my life, Lisa. Mark kneels again beside Johnny, crying. <laughs> Silence can be heard in the distance. The end. Seven That's minutes. it. <laughs> you can see Johnny's villain era. That I was love Johnny's villain era. It was so short-lived. Johnny is a villain. Is that what I said? Lisa's the villain of the story. They're all villains. Everybody They're all sucks. awful. Everybody's so toxic. Johnny isn't even a character. He didn't do anything. He's just a prop. Yeah, facts. Thanks for watching Anyways. most people. Except, especially Sven. Shout out Sven. Anyways, that's The Room. Watch Go this watch movie. It. It's so bad. It's amazing. We like, watch it in if you theaters. think the script is bad, like, you know, the film actually makes it worse. The acting is hilarious, and you thought our acting was bad? We're mimicking the people in the movie. We, we were doing our very best with it. We so actually made it better. If Johnny didn't serve this. Maybe. Does Johnny have a personality? Is Johnny a good person? No one knows. Who's was just saying? He didn't get a promotion. What does that say exactly. about him? Yeah, this movie was legitimately made. And the dude who wrote it also starred as Johnny and directed it. And it shows. Let's show them the poster. And you've been watching this longer than it's been. How do you know? I mean, if you have good job, Slay. Like, thanks for joining. Where are you from? We're Canadian. We are Canadian. Yeah. Oh yeah, show that poster. This is the actual movie. It's called The Room. You can watch it. It's real. That's mostly for Sven, because he's been here the whole time. And if he's not here, then that's awkward. This is great. Anyways, that's it. Okay. There's something in your teeth. I don't believe you. I don't believe anyone ever. I don't believe. We haven't needed in a while, so. Anyone that is the Johnny. Yes, sir. Yeah. And we met the Mark. Yes. It was a primo. He signed screens. the script, actually. We bought the script. You bought the script. You owe me 30 bucks. I do. Yeah. Anyways. Bye. Thanks for hyping us up. Bye. Have a good night, everybody. If it's night where you are.